I figure I'll uh, start a little series here and what I'll do is talk about and highlight different um, documentaries which I feel are important which are you know what I feel show um, and demonstrate different things better than most better than your average forms of media and um, something I feel like you can watch and get something out of um, at least I do now you know these are these are so these are just ones that I like you know take them for what you will I think that in any kind of media or anything like that you, you, you need to be able to discern and you know take what's real and what's not and be able to discern fact from opinion and I mean there, there's there's nothing that doesn't have opinion there's it's it doesn't exist you know so to say that even these are devoid of opinion I, yeah I understand that they're biased just like everything else is biased but I consider these to be at least the most intellectually honest and ones which at strike at the root of not only showing problems but also finding solutions and this is why I want to start off with talking about Linux and talking about open source and why open source is and why this is so damn important to me because it's a ba it's it's essential I mean this is what we're using to talk this is what you're using to listen to me talk now and it's what I'm using to record this video it's about the technology we're sitting here using to communicate why not talk about that first why not be concerned ourselves with that first because that's how we're getting along in using this software and in using proprietary closed source software you're supporting corporations <laughs> I mean to put it so bluntly you are and you know there's very specific ones here you know, usually either Apple or Microsoft, but even if it wasn't Apple or Microsoft, you know, there's still Novell and there's still Sun, um, who who are you know, if you're just as anti-corporate, you're you're going to want to get as far away from them as possible, and you can't do that. You cannot do that, and, and you know, sitting back and running their software, it's not going to happen. It will never happen. And I think that pointing things like this documentary, Revolution OS, which to people who don't, who, who think that there is nothing else and never has been anything else, to show them, well, you, quite frankly, you're just wrong. <laughs> Linux has been around for, uh, you know, since the, you know, in wide use since the early 90s. I personally can remember hearing about it in high school. And I did know a few of my friends back then that were running it. Of course, it, it was all text-based back then. And it um, was a little more than I was willing to delve into. But w after I found, basically, I found Ubuntu. Uh, I stumbled on Dapper Drake, which was a version they had out a few years ago. And um, it was more stable than XP that I was running at the time and um, yeah it, it it basically has j almost all of the same functionality that XP has if not more Ubuntu does a lot of the, the, the problem you run into when switching over to Linux is things like uh, specialized hardware and specialized programs you can only like you, you might only be able to run some certain program for your work or whatever or you, you know you you have to use uh, the driver that came with some weird piece of hardware you have <laughs> um, although you, you'd be surprised um, at the rate that open source stuff gets developed it's generally 
as soon as it hits the market, whatever it is, whoever, there's always a couple nerds that get together uh, and try and code some drivers for it. You just have to really get down and dirty and, you know, get in some, uh, get in to some forums and really, uh, even if you don't know how to code, you, you have to help the people that do. You have to tell them what works and what doesn't. And, you know, you really have to try to learn. This isn't something that you can sit back and passively be a you can you can't be a passive consumer anymore. And 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 this is I you know this is I thought what we were trying to get away from in the anarchist movement. Uh, and this is what really gets me. It really gets you know to see these you know radicals and you know even like the liberal you know uh, you know oppositional whatever people walking around with their little macbooks and they think they're fucking doing something they're not you're making the problem worse you look like a fool to people like me an absolute fool because you're sitting there preaching anti-corporate horse crap and then you're using technology which supports corp one, one of the worst corporate one of the worst uh monopolizers of technology apple apple works even more so to close off the way files transfer and the way their machines run than any other company <laughs> that makes that makes hardware you you have you really can't install anything else other than OS X on your Mac good luck trying to install anything else I've heard of uh, other open source projects but I've never heard anyone that tries to has actually gone and tried to install one on their Mac and I don't know why I'd want to run, you know, one of their operating systems on my computer. Uh, uh, no thanks. But <laughs> enough with the Mac hate. Um, so to me, this is th this this is why this is important because it it, it feeds into the DIY aspect of of anarchism. You have to get down and do this yourself. And you have to get your hands dirty. You can't sit by and be a passive, you know, automaton anymore. If you want to take your own freedom and take your own destiny into your own hands. And that's what an open source is. That's what the free software movement is about. It's about taking control of what what you use every day when you use a computer. You know what you do when when you use a computer, and really even any any piece of technology. It's not even computers per se. It, it it's any piece of technology. Um, and yes, that does. And yeah, even down to um, mechanical things, non you know not things that aren't computerized. Yeah, you can apply open source to 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 anything because it's just releasing how you are able to design and build something. Uh, uh, you know, if if I was able to make a you know a, a better or you know some kind of really good tool or something, why should I not um, share the how I did that with my neighbor uh, so that he can you know get the benefits out of it too? Well, well that doesn't make any sense to to, to stop that. Um, even in a free market, um, it, it, it it's allowing people to share, and to say that no, you can't share with your neighbor. Um, that to me is in, in, in infringing on freedom, and that has nothing to do with you know the you know communalist anything or you know any kind of greater good for society it has to do with being able to make that choice uh, as an individual you individually choose to share your product with your neighbor and you should have the right to do that and that's what open source strikes at that's what the free software movement strikes at so I think this is important if you've got you know, an hour or so. Check check out the sidebar. 
check out the links. I'd be more than happy to help you guys with anything.